Good evening, folks. So I'm here at the crib. We're going to do a catch and cook on a trout. Not exactly sure which catch this was. So uh, it's winter time. I'm a pescatarian, so most of my diet consists of fish and, and uh, shellfish. I do eat uh, creams and cheeses sometimes, and this is going to be one of those hearty uh, cream dishes. Most of the ingredients that I have you can get at the Dollar General. I'm a Dollar General fan, as you guys all know. Uh, but you can do some great stuff with some, with some cheap ingredients. It doesn't cost you a lot, and it comes out phenomenal. So I'm just going to do one of my recipes for you all. I'm not a chef. I'm not even uh, um, trained in anything like that, but I've screwed up enough dishes to uh, know how to create some pretty good chow. So we're going to go over that right now and uh, stick around and let me know what you all think. First here guys, we got our uh, water boiling for our rice and I'm not using any kind of fancy rice or anything. Like I said, most of the ingredients I got here came from Dollar General and this is pretty much all of the stuff that I'm going to be using. Uh, we are going to do some instant white rice from the DG. I'm going to go ahead and throw that in right now because it takes a little while to get going. Our water is already boiling. And it's just me tonight. The wife and the little one are still in Georgia at her mom's house for the holidays. So we're going to go ahead and get that mixed in real quick. Bring it back to a boil. In fact, I think I might need a little more water. Let's do that now. I think I mentioned in an earlier video that my wife got me a uh, vacuum sealer. So that's kind of my style is uh, I will catch some fish, go clean it out at my mother-in-law's house, bring it home, put it in the vacuum sealer and uh, put it in the freezer so I don't rinse anything then when I go I usually it's just me like I said so I usually go ahead and uh, do individual packets and one of the important things with fish that I've learned over the years is to drive it or dry it out really well so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now and uh, I usually wrap it in paper towel and um, rinse it with uh, water before I cook it because I do not rinse any of my fish prior to cooking it. One of the things about saltwater fish is you really don't want to rinse it in fresh water. It kind of breaks everything down. So I wait till the last minute and I'll rinse it off really well and then dry it with paper towel for a little while before I go ahead and cook it. So we're going to do that right now and we'll be back with you here shortly. All right, so while that fish is drying out, we're gonna go ahead and get started on the cream sauce. I have one, you know, medium-sized shallot here. Now you don't have to use shallot, you can use red onion, uh, yellow onion, white, whatever. I, I tend to stick to like reds and uh, whites. I'm not a big, Vidalia guy because they're, they're they have a little sweeter flavor than I like. I like very strong um, smelling and tasting onions. That's just me, but you can do whatever you like, and you don't want to slice it up real um, chunky. I think I'm just going to use half of this this guy here for our sauce because like I said the only people that are eating are me and possibly my sous chef which would be my dog cheese cheese say hi cheese cheese say hi to everybody man 
Yeah, that's my sous chef there. Uh, I, I honestly, she'll sit next to me while I'm cooking, and she'll probably eat uh, a hot turd out of a shoe box. But at least it makes me feel better about my cooking. So whatever. And I have five cloves of garlic. Generally, I like more garlic than this but for some reason this is all I had so I may use that uh, that jar stuff that's already minced up that's in like liquid I hate using that stuff but it's it's a fine substitute if you need something in a pinch and it's pretty inexpensive but generally I like the fresh stuff so all right that is the amount that we're going to throw in our sauce, okay? So let's get this puppy going. These bad boys right here, I love cast iron. Um, surprisingly, I know you're going to think this is crazy, but this little guy right here I got from Dollar General, man. This thing was like six bucks from Dollar General, and it is a straight up cast iron pan that I've used a thousand times and there's really no difference between this one and this one here. This one here I got from like, um, God where did I get this from? It was like Gander Mountain or some or Academy Sports or something like that and it was like three times the price of, of this one and guess what it does the exact same thing so I like cast iron because it gets hot, stays hot, and it cooks evenly. If you guys can use cast iron, great. If you got some thicker steel pans, those will work as well. So we're going to wait for this to get up to uh, pretty decent temp, and we're going to throw our onions in and our garlic in. And while we're doing that, we are going to get our broccoli ready. So if you're not sure what we're making, we're going to do a... Um, kind of a blackened speckled trout really hot lots of seasoning with a uh, cream sauce over broccoli and white rice so kind of a trick that I like to do well I like to do it with anything and I'm going to show you now is and I cook fish the same way but I have my oven going right now to, it's broiling, or it's on the broil set, the convection broil setting at like 550. And one of the things I like to do is put the pan that I'm going to be cooking in, in the broiler and let it get smoking steamy hot um, before I put anything in it. It just kind of when you do it with fish, it's if anybody's cooked fish in the oven, you you know that it's got that milky white fat that comes out of it as you cook it in the oven. When you take it out, it doesn't look appetizing at all. It may taste fairly decent, but uh, for the most part, it looks like uh, it looks pretty disgusting. When you put your pan in, in this case, I'm using a, some a, a glass pan. When you put that in, and I'll show you, I'm just going to put a little olive oil in it and put it in the oven just to coat the bottom of the pan so it doesn't stick. But when this thing gets steaming hot on 550 and you put whatever it is that you're putting in here in this bad boy, it's going to sear that um, fish meat whatever um, when you put it in so let's go ahead and do that now let it get piping hot I'll take it out we'll throw that broccoli in and all I'm going to do with the broccoli is a little bit of olive oil and uh, some coarse sea salt and then at the end I'll probably do a little bit of lemon but all right so the smaller cast iron pan is 
hot and ready. So, we are gonna throw these jokers in here. Now, typically I like to do this recipe with mushrooms, but today I'm just not, not in the mushroom mood, so we're gonna forego that choice there. We're gonna heat these, ooh, it's already smelling like onions and garlic. We're gonna heat these bad boys up until they're kind of translucent. I'm not gonna give you specific times because you gotta figure it out for yourself. But when they get that nice kind of uh, window glazy translucent appearance, you're probably in the right place. It doesn't take very long. And this bad boy is very hot, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it down. So are the, there are some ingredients that I was not, I did not get from, you don't wanna burn them either. But I did not get from the uh, dollar store. And the, that's this one right here. This is a smoked um, salt. It's, I mean, you don't need it. I just kind of like the smoky flavor. And uh, this right here, fried chilies in, in oil. It, it's actually a Chinese uh, company, but my wife's, one of my wife's buddies um, sends this to me because I love it and I cook, I cook with it a lot, but it's super spicy. It's actually got some peanuts in it and some uh, it's basically ground up chili peppers in a um, either a peanut or sesame oil but it, it adds a whole bunch of heat and I am one of those people that like things a little spicy so we're gonna throw that in let those flavors and aromas kind of open up you don't want a lot of that stuff because let me tell you it will get you it will get you it's also got a lot of salt in it so you got to be careful with, with that I like my things salty but I've made the mistake of um, salting on top of adding this and it comes out a little bit too much for even me. Okay. Next, we are gonna throw in some chicken stock with a little bit of flour and cornstarch. We're gonna thicken things up before we uh, we get going here. All right. Basil. Let's open some of those flavors up. The smoked salt. You can use regular salt. I like Himalayan. Um, this just adds a little bit of smoky flavor without having to actually smoke anything. And once again, some more heat, a little bit of crushed red pepper. I like my heat. All right, let's let that rip for a little while and all those things open up, start to do their thing. Ooh, it's already starting to thicken up. I like it. Now typically I will add some white wine. Uh, I'm not going to do it this time, but if you want a little wine flavor you probably put that in before you add the uh, the starch mixture turn that down a bit now this I'm gonna add a little butter just because I like the flavor of butter it's not a lot I don't eat a lot of butter um, but a lot of people do. I mean, you don't you don't have to have a lot. I'm going to have about that much. All right, we got 
some butter in there. I'm going to turn it way down. And in the meantime, we are going to get this big pan here up to temp. Now we're going to get this bad boy smoking, piping hot because I like, I don't want to fry the fish. I want it um, blackened, which I guess, you know, it's kind of done the same way, but uh, I want it hot and fast. So we're going to do a blackened mixture over on the other side here. Okay, just regular heavy whipping cream. And I'm not going to do a lot of it because it's just me and cheese that are going to be sucking this down, man. Now, if you know anything about cooking with cream, you do not want to get it super hot for a long period of time because it will separate the fats get all crazy in there and I've done that a couple times like I said I've screwed up enough dishes where I kind of know not or what not to do so this cast iron pot is pretty hot at this point so I'm going to turn it way down get this mixed in really well um, and it, it already smells phenomenal do a little bit more. I want it a little thinner than that because it's going to cook for a minute. I'm going to turn it off altogether because this cast iron is going to hold its heat for a long time. And that's basically going to be it for our sauce, guys. I mean, easy peasy. And. Good deal. All right. Now, we're gonna get our fish prepared, so stick around. All right, so on the fish side of the house, this is actually one filet. This is a pretty big trout here. I just cut it in half, but uh, I don't want, so I have a mixture of cornstarch and flour here but we want a lot of spice okay so there's two things I'm going to use this the supreme the supreme tradition steakhouse seasoning any steakhouse seasoning will work it, it's kind of bold uh, especially for a, a blackening recipe so I'm going to go ahead and mix that right in the flour and I'll probably add some more to the top as we go along but be pretty generous with um, any of your blackening seasoning because I want that nice like burned kind of crust and the other one is it, everything Italian uh, I use this stuff for all kinds of stuff but it's got those peppers red peppers uh, garlic a bunch of a little bit of salt but it's a very bold flavorful spice so we're gonna move Move that around in our coating there. Get her all mixed up. And we're just going to do this once because we want it light. We don't want to, you know, put it in a, uh, an egg batter or anything like that. We just want to coat the fish with a lot of nice seasonings. And some flour, kind of killing two birds with one stone, getting that nice spice seasoning in there. And we're adding a little bit of flour and cornstarch for that little extra um, crust there. Look at these jokers all taken care of here you can't have too much spice in my opinion you do it the way you want this is the way i do it 
All right, so there's our fish. Let's get our uh, pan up to temp. And we're gonna throw that dude in, man. This thing is gonna be wicked hot, man. Wicked hot. So. Pull this pan out. Yeah, wicked, wicked hot. All right. Now, we'll set this joker down here. We're gonna hurry up and get our broccoli in there. And as you can see, it's got some olive oil on it, so we are gonna put some pink Himalayan salt on it. And I'm going to add some lemon when we take it out, but I like my broccoli crispy, so it's not going to be in there very long. Goodness, that's hot. All right, let's set this timer here for five minutes. Pan is up to temp here. Oh yeah, that's good. All right, so. Add our fish. Make sure it's not sticking there. There's press. What up, press? What's happening, dog? Press. What up? You want something to eat too? I uh, know. Actually, gonna turn this up a bit. Hot and fast. Remember, hot and fast. And I probably could have gotten it a lot hotter than that. So let's put some of this stuff up and clean our area a little bit and be back with you our dinger beeped on our oven here so we're gonna take our broccoli out oh yeah that looks like the cat's pajamas all right so there it is it's gonna be crispy um, but cooked and one last thing I want to do with that is some lemon juice a little bit of lemon juice real quick awesome awesome sauce all right Our fish is coming along Maybe it's time to flip these jokers excellent look at that nice very nice One of the last things that we're going to do um, right before the fish is done is we're going to go ahead and throw some uh, butter in the pan and uh, throw some on top of this fish because it just to me it adds a nice flavor. Some lemon. Get it. All right, we'll be back with you for the plating. Stand by. All right, peeps. It's plating time. Press. Press. What time is it, dude? What time is it? Plating time? What? Let's do this. All right, here's our dollar store instant rice. portion right down and our
crispy lemon salted broccolini awesome sauce now Throw some of our cream sauce on the top there. And finally, we're going to do a nice piece of speckled trout. And there you have it guys. I mean, uh, didn't take me more than, you know, 25 minutes. Uh, it's a cheap meal, but uh, it looks phenomenal and it is phenomenal. Uh, fresh fish, you can't beat it. Uh, that looks amazing. Coupled with the uh, cream sauce and the rice. And a little bit of the old red wine. There you go, man. It's a redneck gourmet right there. <laughs> Let me know what y'all think.